it was the most haunting of all prophetic visions. The prophet Ezekiel saw a valley of dry bones, a heap of skeletons. God asked him, son of man, can these bones live? Ezekiel replied, God, you alone know. Then the bones came together and grew flesh and skin and began to breathe and live again. Then God said, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried up. Of that tikvatenu our hope is lost. Therefore prophesy and say to them, This is what God says. My people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. It was this passage that Naftali Hertz Imba was alluding to in 1877, when he wrote in the song that became Israel's national anthem, Hatikva, the phrase, Od lo of Da Tikvatenu, our hope is not yet lost. Little could he have known that 70 years later, one third of the Jewish people would have become in Auschwitz and Treblinka and Bergen-Belsen a valley of dry bones. Who could have been blamed for saying, our bones are dried up, our hope is lost. And yet, a mere three years after standing eyeball to eyeball with the angel of death, the Jewish people, by proclaiming the state of Israel, made a momentous affirmation of life, as if it had heard across the centuries the echo of God's words to Ezekiel. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. And a day will one day come when the story of Israel in modern times will speak not just to Jews, but to all who believe in the power of the human spirit as it reaches out to God as an everlasting symbol of the victory of life over death, hope over despair. Israel has taken a barren land and made it bloom again. It's taken an ancient language, the Hebrew of the Bible, and made it speak again. It's taken the West's oldest faith and made it young again. It's taken a tattered, shattered nation and made it live again. Israel is the country whose national anthem, Hatikva, means hope. Israel is the home of hope.